Let's do a triangle congruence proof example. This is just a first proof. This should go pretty quickly. Some textbooks nowadays do what are called two column proofs. This is the way geometry uh, uh, proofs had always traditionally been structured, but other textbooks do more of a flow chart approach. In this video, I'm going to do both. I will, uh, I'll separate them into chapters, so if you're a person that's, that does two column proofs in your course, you can just watch right here. If you do a flow chart, maybe skip to the next chapter. All right, to begin with, we should take a, a look at what has been given to us. Uh, we're being told that AB, so right here, is congruent to CD, so I like to mark that in, so these two sides have the same length, and then that AD is congruent to CB, so that these two sides have the same length. Now, in a two-column proof, we typically write our statements, and on the, on the left and on the right side, we write our reasons. Now, I like, basically, you want to just, um, start by recreating your givens. And what we're doing here is we're trying to use one of our triangle congruence theorems to show that these two things are congruent. So remembering that, you know, those are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, and of course in the special cases it's hypotenuse leg. Um, we're trying to aim to one of those, and basically our proof should give us all of those pieces. So you can see here that, um, you know, we've already established two sides are the same, so we're aiming for one of these two. Um, I, I mean, this right here is going to be our third side, the shared side. We're going to be able to say that, you know, C is congruent to CA, and that is the reflexive property. This is just saying that something is equal to itself, okay? And what we've done there, I'm just going to make a little note, is now we've established we have in these triangles three congruent sides. So we are now able to say that angle or triangle ADC is congruent to triangle CBA by side, side, side. So even though it feels a little strange to have to rewrite what was given to us, we're trying to, in our proof, establish all of the pieces we need. So even though two of them were given, we do want to write them here. It's kind of the logic of, well, these two were given, and then we use one of our properties for this last part. If this helped you, please like and subscribe for more geometry help. So now I'm going to do this with a uh, flow chart uh, for those that are taking a course that, that you do those. Um, AB is congruent to CD, so this was given to us. Uh, AD is congruent to CB, so those two. So I would start, oftentimes you see these written like this. You see a um, statement. And then under it, you write the reason that you know that is true. So let's write the other one. Now, what we're trying to do here is aim to one of our triangle congruence theorems. So just as a reminder, those are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. Now, the fact that we already have two sides that were given to us means we're aiming towards one of those two. And we should be writing down um, basically the pieces that will establish three things in order for us to use one of those theorems. And you often see these, like I said, in a flow chart, kind of like this, like, okay, here's a statement, here's a statement, now I'm just going to make a note, those gave us sides. Well, the final piece here, of course, is that they share that side. So we'd say, all right, so AC is congruent to CA, and that is by the reflexive property, where it says something is equal to itself. We use this when they share a side or an angle or something. Okay? And again, this establishes a third side. So because of that, 
we can say that these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. Okay. And that's the way the flow chart proof of this would work. So just the pieces up here, um, you know, just establish the three parts of our triangle congruence. Um, and then it all flows into, well, we showed these three sides, so that means that we can use side, side, side. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more geometry content. I have an entire playlist on geometry.